How would it be if the United States were viewed by the rest of the world as interfering with the elections directly of other countries and everybody knew it? I kind of feel like somebody should tell Joe Biden about the United States' history of supporting regime change, imperialist wars. <laughs> I mean, obviously, his comment there, it lacked self-awareness to a humiliating extent. Having said that, though, like putting that aside for a moment, I do have to give Joe Biden credit where it's due because he is supporting something that I did not expect him to ever support, given his hawkish and militaristic history. He supports the repeal of a law that basically has been used to legally justify our never-ending wars, and this is not something I anticipated. So as Andrea Germanos of Common Dreams explains... Just ahead of Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announcing a vote on repealing the Iraq War authorization later this year, the White House this week declared its support for legislation to end the 2002 measure, a development welcomed by Democratic lawmakers and progressive groups that have demanded an end to endless wars. At issue is Representative Barbara Lee's H.R. 256, which would repeal the authorization for use of military force against Iraq resolution of 2002 that passed in the wake of the September 11th attacks. The repeal measure, whose support supporters now include even right-wing groups like Americans for Prosperity has 134 bipartisan co-sponsors. The House is set to vote on the bill Thursday. In a statement of administrative policy released Monday announcing support for H.R. 256, the Biden administration said the United States has no ongoing military activities that rely solely on the 2002 AUMF as a domestic legal basis and repeal of the 2002 AUMF would likely have minimal impact on current military operations. The statement also declares President Joe Biden's commitment to working with Congress on repealing and replacing other existing authorizations of military force. Lee called it great news that Biden is on board with my legislation to repeal the 2002 AUMF, which Congress will vote on this week. This is a long overdue step toward ending our forever war, she tweeted. I have to say, credit where it's due, he gets all the credit in the world for this if he signs this into law. Honestly, in the event this were to pass Congress, I don't know if it's going to pass the Senate, I assume it's going to pass the House, but if it got through Congress and it arrived on Joe Biden's desk, the question of whether or not he'd sign that to me was up in the air. I don't know if he would veto it. So when Congress actually, for the first time ever, enacted the War Powers Act to stop U.S. complicity with Saudi's genocide in Yemen, Trump vetoed that bill. And since all presidents tend to, you know, continue our forever wars, I kind of expected Joe Biden to do, this, do the same thing and be against this because I wouldn't expect him to want to rein in his legal authority to unilaterally wage war without the consent of Congress. You know, uh, he why would he make it any more difficult for himself to do that given his history of hawkishness? But he proved me wrong. And that's a damn good thing. I am happy to be proven wrong here in this regard. Now, it remains to be seen how precisely this is going to impact U.S. imperialism. It's not going to end U.S. imperialism, right? But one thing that worries me is the line from Biden's administration where he says that we don't necessarily need this to legally justify our current military activities. So, I mean, I don't I don't necessarily know if this will change anything. Will this not give him the legal justification to do drone wars. I don't necessarily know like the extent to which Biden is waging drone drone wars. That's yet to be seen. We have to wait on reports for that. We know that Obama ramped it up and then ramped them down. And then Trump took over and ramped them up higher than ever before. So I don't know if they're using that to justify drone wars. I don't know the extent to which this is going to change our occupation of the Middle East, like, right away. Like, a lot of questions kind of remain unanswered because if he says that we're not really using this currently, what does that what does that mean, right, in particular? What does this mean in practice? What is it going to amount to? But having said that, though, the fact that he's on board and he's not going to veto this and he supports it, that is really, really great. It is a huge step forward in ending forever wars in the United States. So I'm, I'm very pleased to see this, and it's pleasantly surprising to see him support this, even if overall 
you know, he's still a little bit tone deaf when it comes to the history of U.S. imperialism, but this is a step in the right direction, finally, after a very long time, almost two decades. You know, you, you, you know, you know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man.